with Nuno Bettencourt. He uh, love Nuno. He, he thinks he thinks uh, he tells me something or tells in the interview that he don't like his old record with Extreme. What do you think about your old records? Do you like the sound from? I don't 80s? listen to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean I really unless I have to learn something. I mean I don't sit around and dig myself. I mean if okay. anything, I, I listen to old bebop records, Miles Davis and stuff like that. Okay. Get my ears clear, you know. Yeah. Okay. You work in, uh, before you came to Europe, I read in the newspaper uh, with uh, George Benson. And yeah, Page. me and Dave, David Page and I uh, uh, co-produced the track, co-wrote a track, and also co-produced it with Marcus Miller, a uh, brand new song for George's new album. There's a okay. lot of all-star people on it. So everybody that ever wrote a hit song for him, you know, got a chance to go in there and make one. So okay. I, think we got, I think we got the coolest track. Ooh. <laughs> Just did real strings, real horns. You know, real live rhythm section was like Jr. Phil and Gaines, uh, Page, uh, Marcus, and uh, Ray Parker Jr. Okay. And he's a great rhythm guitar player, and a great old friend. I thought I made that call. I said, "Hey, Ray should play on this," and I just produced. And I sat in the room. He played this great. Okay. Guys nailed it in two takes. It was done. Everybody in the world was the. It, it was at Henson Studios. You know, it used to be A and M on Hollywood. We made a lot of hit records in there, man. It's great room. That big room. And a lot of people were hanging out going, wow, guys are really playing together at the same time. Can you believe it? <laughs> and we're just sitting out there with charts, man, like, going, yeah, man, this is how you do that. And a room full of people, everybody from the guys from Alice in Chains to, like, you know, Jer you know Jerry from Alice in Chains and uh, Mikey and then um, Randy Jackson from American Island. Everyone was like, yo, yo, dude, my man. You know? I love Randy, man. I, I mean, he played on my first album 20 years ago before he was okay. famous. You know? Yeah. So if I look around in this audience here, I saw a lot of students of mine. Hello. Oh, okay. okay. Have, you got, have you got some tips for the younger guys who wants to be working? You want to be an engin business? engineer or, yeah. as a, or as a musician? What do you expect if you work with a young guy? So they young, guys, a young guys have a whole new way of looking at it because it's all fresh. And I think it's wonderful. I mean, you bring so much energy. You know, yeah. And also, they figure out weird ways to do things that as old guys would go, no, just mic it like this. They go, no, no, try this. And very interesting, very impressive. Okay. I okay. just say, go for it, man. There are no rules. Break them all. Have fun. <laughs> If it sounds good, who gives a shit how you got there? Uh, a question is, uh, if you play the guitars in the studio, do you prefer to work in the, in the control room or you go with the whole stuff into the uh, recording room and uh, use feedbacks from the speakers? Or, so what is your method well, to Well, I got to be honest with you, I ruined my hearing wearing headphones. Okay. I have, I have tinnitus or tinnitus, however you say that. From in the old days, when everybody had, there'd be 10 guys playing at the same time and the headphones on your head for like, you know, I'd be working 20, 25 sessions a week. Yeah. And he had the click check going ding, ding, ding. And eight guys going, turn me up, turn me up. Turn yeah. me. By the end of yeah. the day, man, 12 hours on your head. Oh, yeah. Or some, some newbie singer takes the headphones off and puts it around the microphone. You get the 10K tone that like, rips your face off. You know, it's, like, it's horrible. It's horrible. And, you know, you know, I, my, you know so um, I'd rather play in the control room. When I was working with uh, Jeff Beck about 10 years ago, okay. the way we m made the best way it work was he'd had a little champ amp underneath the console so he could get the feedback things that he wanted to do and he still had the Marshall out or the Fender whatever we happened to be using at the time mic'd up you know we worked at Dave Gilmore's place on in the okay. Thames you know up in uh, the, oh yes the, the, yeah, 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 yeah yeah it's a okay. beautiful place man it was magical yes. unfortunately that record never saw the light of day but uh, it was, there was some great stuff on it man it was a great honor to work with him okay. uh, do you use the same uh, um Configuration of the studio as on the stage, or no, no. I use just plug right into an amp, man. Okay. You know, I use uh, little teeny amps. I use little Marshalls. I use, yeah. You know, and, and I let the engineer uh, put effects or compression and all that stuff on it. Effects live, live. I, I have my rig that Bradshaw made me, but oh, that's, oh, live. Oh, yeah. that's live. That's live. You, you know? used the Bob Bradshaw, yeah. Yeah. Oh, He's okay. one of my best friends. Yeah. Okay. I was one of the first guys to get in. Oh yeah. I turned a lot of guys onto that. Okay. 
And uh, in the studio, in the mix, uh, you use the normal output gear? Yeah. yeah. All the usual suspects, you know, all no the stuff that you guys would use or not use. I mean, a lot of things have dried up now. It's not you know, like the reverb of the 70s, you know what I mean? <laughs> Put reverb on the everything. You know? EMT 140. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, there's not enough reverb on my reverb. Okay. So what are the next steps? What is your plan for the future? I'm going to be on the road for the rest of the year, and then I'm going to make another solo really? record. Yeah. Oh, hard job. I have interesting projects here and there, little recordings, and, you know. And the next album is coming up when? Uh, I'm going to probably do it in the fall or winter of next year. Fine. And then I'll be back out on the road again, traveling around the world. That's how you make a million. That's how you make a you know a living these days. You know? okay. I like the road. Fortunately for me, I like the road. Some people hate it, you know. But okay. I was sort of built for this life. I'm about 35 years in now. I only look like I'm 108, you know. Okay. It's okay. Uh, it was a pleasure for me to talk with you here Thank at SAE, and uh, hope we meet us again. Absolutely. Hope we have interesting uh, things for our audience here. Thank you guys for coming. So many thanks, thanks to see. Cheers. Thank you. Have a great day. See you. Thank you, Goodbye. Thank you very much for being here. Bye-bye.